Hey everyone, sorry I haven't updated the Bonanza project in a while. Uh, some life-changing events have happened since my last video. Um, I'm in the Army National Guard, and as I was gearing up to finish the Bonanza, my unit got called for stateside mobilization. I'm not going to say where I am. I can't say where I am, really. Uh, I'm just going to avoid it, not even go into detail on it. But it's quite a long uh, mobilization, and I did finish the Bonanza before I, w I had to leave. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to take any video uh, or really any pictures of the annual itself. Uh, I, I just ran out of time. Uh, between trying to take video and pictures and share it on YouTube, it really would have eight into the time I had to get the annual completed. So, uh, haven't been flying. She's uh, when was the last time I flew? I don't even remember the last time I flew. I have to go back and look at my log books. But, uh, I am still doing training. So in the meantime, instead of flying, because my airplane's back home, we're doing this commercial test prep. So hopefully I'll be able to knock that out while I'm not at home. Uh, the airplane is done. It is airworthy. It's good to go. The only thing I did not get done right away was put the transponder in, the GTX 345. That's not a problem. It's already pre-wired. I, I had all that ready to go at home before I left, so that won't take long at all. Uh, and Plus, the weather back home is not the best right now to go flying. I am in very warm weather. It's a shorts and t-shirt kind of a day. Um, it would be great to have the airplane here, but that's why I haven't been updating any videos, unfortunately. Uh, thank you for everybody who's been watching. Uh, I hope soon I'll be able to show some videos. The plan is, hopefully, that I will be able to bring the Bonanza to where I am at to do my commercial training. Um, if not, I'll just do the written exam. I might... I don't think I'd even rent an airplane at this point to go to go do it this year. I think I'd wait till I got back home. I, I know that you know once you take the test, you start the start the two year clock. But I think that's okay. Uh, I would definitely get it done before that two years is up. But uh, yeah, so living long term, this mobilization is actually pretty 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 easy. Uh, long term living in a hotel room. Uh, that part sucks. Being away from family, of course, sucks. But uh, let me tell you, it could be a lot worse. I've had, this is my fourth tour somewhere other than home. Uh, two, this is my second stateside mobilization. I've had two overseas deployments. I will tell you, this is cake. <laughs> I would take this over any any tour in Iraq. Well, let me rephrase that. When I was younger, I was in Iraq uh, as a door gunner on Black Hawk helicopters. So I think if I were that age, not married, no kid, I would much prefer that. That was a blast, but uh, it was a good experience. But where I'm at in life now, married, kid, you know, family, uh, older, I won't say wiser, but older. Um, yeah, this is, this is easier. This is, this is much better. But um, yeah, so anyhow, I just wanted to give a quick update. Thank you again to everybody who's been watching and subscribing. Uh, and, and as soon as I can, I promise you, I will make an update video with the Bonanza project. So, um, I'll just tell you a little bit, about, a little bit about the annual. The airplane is fantastic. Really, nothing wrong with it. Prior to the annual, I had done a bunch of maintenance on it. I had already changed out of a, a fuel bladder in the right wing. So that was done. Um, let's see what else was there. Oh yeah, you know tires, tubes, the the stuff that when it sat for a long time needed to be changed out. I got that done prior to the annual, so that was easy. Other than that, the annual was just a, a typical Bonanza RG annual. Uh, the cables were fine, cable tensions were fine. I did all of the ABs. Prior to the annual, um, for those that don't know, I'm an AMP. 
I don't hold an IA, although I would like to have my IA, make the annuals a lot cheaper. Um, I'll touch base on that in a second. But uh, so I did a ton of work on it before the annual, knowing that it would make the annual that much easier. So the ADs, uh, I, I compiled a list and uh, I used ATP Hub. It's a subscription service, but it tracks all ADs. It lets you know when new ADs come out. You can look at service bulletins. You can look at everything. So the cool thing about that is you can do an AD uh, history printout, and you can show, hey, this AD was complied with on this date by this person, signature and everything. So I did that. I presented that all to my IA, and he wasn't used to having something like that handed to him, which was fine. Um, engine run-up was great. Um, I had two frozen pulleys that were in the belly for the, I believe it was the elevator control. Not a big deal. Uh, vacuumed out everything. LPS3 everywhere. We checked, we rechecked the torque on the wing bolts. They were fine. Uh, we used some homemade tools for that as far as getting in for the Allen head because they are a, a, an Allen head bolt. I think it would next time, it, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy the, 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 the actual wrench for that because that was a pain. And I think if you had the actual to, tool, that would be, it would be easier. Let's see what else was there that we did. I mean, of course we did everything, right? Uh, Uplock cable tensions, all that stuff, you know, uh, gear door, didn't, the doors didn't need to be rigged. The retractable step works, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, there really wasn't a whole lot involved with it. At first, I thought, okay, what I would do is I would, I would hire the shop there at the airport to do the annual. And I would just sit back and relax and spend time with family. Uh, it's a small shop, and they are very great guys. They're awesome people. Um, but I didn't know that one out of the two people in the shop was going on vacation that week. And the other guy in the shop was taking a few days off. So it ended up just being me and the IA. Uh, I opened everything for the most part. I'll say for the most part, not all, not all of it, but uh, for probably three or four days there was just me. I, of course, I opened everything up. I already had the interior removed, uh, floorboards up. Of course, I already sprayed uh, corrosion preventative compound on a lot of stuff. I already lubed the control cables uh, and already done an oil change, things of that nature. So. There really wasn't a whole lot. It was just an inspection, basically, for the IA, which is what the annual is, just an inspection. Everything that they find on the annual is is extra maintenance. So um, it was nice. Once the guys got back from vacation, they were able to help out with, uh, like, Jack and the airplane doing the gear swing. Uh, we kind of saved things for when we knew when we would have other hands available. But uh, yeah, it, it it really it really wasn't bad. The rotating beacon, <clears throat> it's the old Grimes rotating beacon, uh, worked just fine. It just had you clean the contacts for the for the light to work and works fine. So had to replace a strobe power supply in the right wing tip. But uh, yeah, they're really nothing major. It was awesome. So I can't wait to fly it. <laughs> I really can't. I haven't flown it yet, unfortunately. And, and it's now sitting in, in the hangar, open face T hangar, which is what it is. I get pictures sent to me every once in a while of how cold it is back home. And I get pictures of the airplane. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to go home soon and, and, and actually enjoy it with my family. But uh, once I get back home, there will be more stuff to do to it because it's been sitting again for a year that I'll want to do. Like I'll probably change the oil again because with the temperature changes, moisture gets into the oil and it hasn't been ran to been to be uh, evaporated. 
So I'll probably change the oil when I get home, but that's that's easy. That's what, like a hundred bucks in oil. Um, probably taxi it around for a while, work out the flat spots on the tire that are probably gonna be there. Let's see, other than that, I did have the guys at the shop while I'm gone take care of a couple of things that I wanted done. I wanted uh, new brake pads put in, which they're not even pads or pucks because it's the old old uh, Goodyear brake system, which I'll have to show you guys when I get home how that how that all works. So instead of having like Cleveland brake where you have two pads on either side, two pads you pull off and they're bad, you drill out the rivets, you rip it on new ones, these are just pucks. That's all they are, and they're, they're probably an inch and a half or so in diameter. Uh, you still got to pull the wheel off, of course, and everything. But, uh, yeah, they're only an inch and a half diameter on each side. I mean, they're fairly thick, but uh, a lot of people don't like them. They say that it doesn't have as good braking action. We'll see. I don't know. Can't speak on that. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, more studying. Goal is to get the written exam done. Of course, everybody wants. Everybody goes in wanting to do 100%. But um, hopefully, I'm there. I got nothing but extra time here to study. So even when I'm on shift, um, it's not that bad. So I'm sure there's a, a YouTube. I, you know, I need to search for this. There, I'm, I'm wondering if there's a YouTube video or an an audible out there. Probably not an audible, but uh, something where somebody reads the question and then the correct answer and the explanation that I could just listen to over and over. That wouldn't be too bad. But thanks again, everybody, and I hope to see you all soon.